Welcome back, citizens one and all. Let's cover some bar basics, some tavern basics here today, but we are back with more Tavern Master, and let's dive right into it. As you can see, we've built up quite a few seating arrangements here. We can now accommodate at one time 72 guests. Pretty good. Our guest occupancy is pretty high. So let's um, increase that price a little bit. Blow them down here and get a little bit more money for our time. So let's look at the seating arrangement here. And we'll talk about different seats, what they accomplish. And what they what this is mainly about is number one, capacity. But number two, we're looking at the prestige more than anything. So as you can see, this long table gives a good a bit of prestige. Then the heavy table gives more, gives more. And the long table is great. It can hold eight, but you can still put these two heavy tables like right next to each other. And it takes up the same footprint as the long table. So there's, there's a lot of ways to do this. And I show you that because, you know, you can come down here with the Lux table and do the same thing. So you can fit as many people with these other types of tables as you can with the long tables. And I just like the look of that. It's like an old school tavern feel. So I really like how that looked. And then going into the seating again, it's the same thing. The benches, some of them can hold two, some of them can hold one. You have fancy chairs even. Now, the issue you run into with the chairs is they kind of only make sense if you can put one on each side of the table. And I will demonstrate out here. Like, as you can see, the chair takes up a, a two by one space. So we can do that. And then we can still use the end caps. So we can do this very traditional type of tavern if you want it to. But it looks kind of sloppy. Kind of cool, kind of sloppy at the same time. But as you can see here again with the seats, you get into the same thing. Different types of chairs. All these little one-seaters have a two-by-one footprint, no matter what you do. And then these nicer benches, as you can see, have a two-by-two two footprint. So you can get a little creative, but at the end of the day, this is all about getting that prestige as high as you possibly can. And that's going to be the main goal here. And I really, I really wish this looked better. Uh, when you do the Lux Table Small... It only holds two, and I wish it held four because it actually makes sense to hold four since each side is a two by one like that. You can like that. Like that actually looks pretty good, especially like how it looks balanced. I would rather see them do this, but as you can see, only over two people will sit here, and they'll pick random chairs. Even if you have four chairs, nobody else will sit there that I've seen. So you can kind of mix and match a little bit, but I would love to see them change the round table to hold four. I think that would be great. Looks way better than than what this table does. So hopefully he, he checks this out and maybe we'll fix that eventually. But that's kind of the basics of the seating. The order, as you can see here, we did skip rows here and we skipped that on purpose. You could actually sardine all of these in and they'll fill in just fine. As you can see, we did that here to kind of demonstrate. There's no row. You don't need it. They can still get down there. But what we do when we skip a row or even skip two rows is one, aesthetically it does look better, but two... When you skip a row, you know, it's it's a couple less tables that you can fit. And in the long run, that's more manageable for the waitresses and the chefs and everything. It actually makes it a way better experience. You're not going to have angry customers when you're doing it like this. So, anyways, we're going to call it there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. That's just a quick rundown of how the, uh, the seating works in Tower Master. Y'all take care and enjoy.